I have the song, it's such an old song by Barbara Streisand and I've had to write down the lyrics, I'm not going to lie and pretend that I know them all. Midnight, not a sound from the pavement, has the moon, I'm not going to sing it, okay I'm going to kill it. This is literally someone who is thinking back to like past eras in their life that they were happy in and it seems like this person is taking like a midnight stroll and they're looking up at the moon they could be like thinking about whether or not you're looking at the moon as well because i will read the lyrics i am not going to try singing them the song is called memory by barbara streisand and it says midnight not a sound from the pavement has the moon lost her memory she is smiling alone in the lamplight the withered leaves collect at my feet and the wind begins to moan memory all alone in the moonlight i can dream of the old days life was beautiful then i remember the time i knew what happiness was let the memory live again daylight i must wait for the sunrise i must think of a new life i mustn't give in touch me it's so easy to leave me all alone in the memory of the days in the sun now i for some reason as i started um reading that i can feel it in my throat like this emotion someone's just feeling very sad and alone and i wanted to figure out who this was if this is you if this is somebody else here somebody who watches you there's somebody here that watches you maybe in separation or maybe you watch them and you're no longer with them because there is definitely sad sadness coming up with missing you thinking about you yearning unsure of their future now this doesn't have to be romantic this can be a family member this could be a friend um this could be that someone has passed on and you're thinking about this person and you're looking at their photographs and you're sad and you miss them it says here watching looking stalking gaslighting perception and focusing out take what you want from that but there's somebody who's definitely either looking at photographs or they wish that they could talk to you they're wishing that they could go back to a time when you did talk very openly with each other okay so this could be an estranged family member a strange love our ex um who else wants to come out but there's definitely a sadness here almost like regret i'd say addiction codependent obsession possession controlling has a black restraint and then girl talk is coming out here and ascending upside down maybe they're wishing that they could speak to you because you always gave them really good advice you may have been somebody who always listened and just was that shoulder to cry on but also you were that the rock it seems like you may have been the glue that stuck everything together and now that you're not there this person doesn't know what to do because you have the runner and it's in reverse maybe you were also the over nurturer or someone here in the relationship was the over nurturer the runner in a codependent relationship and that's not happening anymore especially with the axe someone has removed that from their itinerary they have just stopped doing that or have made a decision to make more healthy choices and to have healthier boundaries and in doing so it's someone feels like they've been completely uprooted because they no longer have you to lean on they no longer have you to emotionally regulate for them or they no longer have you to to turn to self-indulgence because you're focusing on yourself on your self-worth on time to heal on shadow work and self-appreciation and it may be that this person is being almost forced a little bit kicking and, and screaming to have a look in the mirror and i don't mean that in a horrible way just in that if they have always turned to you or someone else in the collective to regulate their emotions or to help them through certain things they've always had someone there as a crutch to do it for them or with them your absence or the absence of this person from the collective is actually now a confrontation of their own shadow and they have to look into that themselves and it's very difficult and right now they may be going it's almost like the 12 different stages of grief or you know and they're, and they're at the point of denial looking back and going it was so much easier back then and i really miss this person and blah, 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 blah. and i'm not in any way looking down on them because you know when we miss someone or we lose someone whether or not we lent on them way too much whether or not that relationship was functional or dysfunctional this person does miss who you are or who you were to them but you have healing heart upside down healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction so 
this wasn't the most healthiest relationship or dynamic, so to speak. Okay, you have twin flames coming out here. This person may have been learning about twin flames. This person could be your twin flame. They don't have to be. That's going to be for a small amount of people. Yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. Or maybe removing yourself from this situation, from this person, from this family member, friend, lover, whoever it was, is opening up space for your twin flame or your high level soulmate, whatever it is that you believe, to actually come in and fill that space instead. And it's left behind a gaping hole in the person that's been left, been left behind, to be quite honest. Now, I'm going to be ringing my bell. Now, I must say, my name is Bronwyn. Welcome in. It's nice to have you here. Um, if you are new to my channel, it's really, really nice to see a new face. Welcome, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, soul family, hearts, kisses. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you to those who have been supporting this channel and helping it to grow the community that we have here. And I say we. I haven't created it, you guys have. Without you, there'd be no me. So I really, truly appreciate you. Um, everyone here is welcome. It doesn't matter um, if you are gay, gay, straight or bi. It doesn't matter if you are black, white, um, see-through. It makes no difference. Your gender, your um, political stance, your class, anything like that. There's no po politics are kept at the door here, but everyone is welcome as long as we are welcoming to each other. Okay, I don't know why I felt like saying that. Um, but welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. We also have here Seven of Pentacles to the Sun, to the Seven of Wands. There has been a massive percep perception shift for someone here. A massive perception shift. You have the Seven of Pentacles. This is the energy of looking within and kind of reviewing. Almost like when you get to the end of the year, at work and you want them to have a look over all the stuff that you've done and I always forget the name of what that's called an appraisal and you 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 ask for an appraisal and once you get that appraisal and you get that glowing review and you're like okay can I get some more money please you know you ask for that raise it's the same here because this seven of pentacles I heard I can do better or I deserve better and that's irrespective of what relationship this is whether that is you know, respect from family members or respect in a, a romantic relationship or friendship circle. Someone here, you or, or someone in the collective, has reviewed, given themselves this assessment and gone, do you know what? I can't keep over giving or I can't keep lowering my standards in some way and going, this is okay. Because the energy that I'm getting, I've heard someone say this before, not online just in life and it makes sense if you are cutting out the things that no longer resonate with you so that you're making space for the things that do to come in and that includes different types of jobs uh, friendships could be colleagues um lovers why would you not do that to family members why would you not do that to um ex exes why would you not do that with in the form of therapy to remove things like you know um codes and biases that you may have been holding on to it's a sweep it should sweep across the entirety of your um your life in different sections that's just my opinion this is not you know you have to do this this and this but if you're going to remove the poison if so to speak from your life would you not remove it from every part of every organ not just from the heart or not just from the lungs and someone here has sat and thought about this and gone no this is what i need to do i need to take the step to remove myself from all of those that may have been poisoning me or bringing my vibration down or this or that or whatever it may be and doing so has left a lot of sorrow because your energy actually, it brightens people's day. I mean, we have the sun here. We have the sun coming out. This is the energy of growth, illumination, play as well. I mean, it's always a child on a horse. It's a play. It's the inner child. This person may be looking back to when you were a child or they may be looking back to how you made them feel when you were around them. Because if we look again at this wording on here it's talking about the sun and how right now they feel alone in the moonlight it's like they feel like they've been given the cold shoulder or they have just been left without any light in their life because you've moved away but that's maybe because you were the one that was shining brighter and you were guiding them 
and that's where it comes in with this emotional regulation for other people and it says touch me it's so easy to leave me all alone with the memory of the days in the sun so this really is like a dark night of the soul for someone here it may have been for you it definitely is for this person here you have ascending upside down and you have phoenix upside down as well now ascending here in reverse is not transcending obstacles or learning or expansion or new phases it's not preparing for union so i don't know if somebody was very stuck in their ways and they refused to change or if you were the one that was always bringing the ideas to the table with this person, with this situation, with whoever it is that is now there listening to Barbara Streisand, memory, you know, or is just feeling like they're in this energy of under the moon, in their emotions. You know, the moon definitely resides over the fourth house, which is cancer. It's all to do with emotions here. And with it being residing over cancer, this could be a family member, or it could be that this person is actually confiding themselves in a family member or they saw you as family but the phoenix being there in reverse this is there's no new phase they're not able to rekindle something or renew something the transformation that they're going through may seem very sluggish or very slow in some way and they don't feel like there's any growth or that you would change your mind and i'm sorry that this all crusty there it's because it got wet um I don't know if this person wants to reach out. I don't know if this person has thought of reaching out. There seems to be pride that is holding this person back in some way. Or maybe they feel like you are being prideful. They may feel like you are being prideful. Now let me just pop these down. I'm going to be ringing some bells. Not very loud. I'm not the town crier. But I will be ringing some just to cleanse the space around us. If you have any type of sound sensitivity, please turn down your listening device in three, two, one. And then together. Perfect. Now let's put them over there. I hope everyone is having a really good day. I am so thirsty. There may be a need to hydrate. This person may not be sleeping because... I'm thinking of the lyrics to this song and it goes from, you know, midnight and the moon being out to straight away to daylight. Either that or you are fit. This person is thinking of you so much. They're thinking of you. You have the seven of wands here to the hermit. This person, there's something about competing or your health or your work. They didn't what they didn't stick up for your work or they didn't help you in competing with your work let me see what else wants to come out six of pentacles to the two of swords maybe they're wishing that they invested more in your dreams in your work in your health the seven of wands can be about competition but it's also about sticking up for yourself you don't want to put that one out. You have the Six of Pentacles here. Generosity. This is supporting someone. Maybe this person is thinking of trying to gift you something to show that they um, that they care, I'm hearing. And you have the Two of Swords, but they're in doubt whether or not you will want that. You've got the King of Wands underneath there. You may just... You may just I heard they see you as being very stubborn-headed. Or they're worried that you will just charge ahead and do something um, brash. You may do something brash. What would be the brash thing that they think that the collective will do? Mm. Queen of Swords is upside down to the Ace of Pentacles. That you'll shut them down. Five of Cups, yeah, that you'll just shut them down to the Nine of Cups, to the Tower. That they feel like if they reach out or they try to help you financially, if that's what you need, that you will be confrontational in some way and you will shut down all communication. And that's not what they want. So I don't know if they feel like um, the communication or connection between you two is hanging on by a thread. I don't know who this is for. Why is my chair so squeaky today? Goodness gracious. Um, the Ace of Pentacles 
is about an investment but i'm seeing an investment with the queen of swords to separation here they do not want you to um continue investing in just not being anywhere near them or wanting them in your future queen of swords in reverse there is some sort of um i don't know if it was a lie because i know the queen of swords in reverse is a manipulation of types right and we do have uh sunglasses out with watching looking stalking gaslighting perception and focusing out i don't know if this person just made assumptions of your character who you are or your capabilities is what i'm getting there's something here about your capabilities or lying about maybe the lack of capabilities that you have because we you know some people are seen as less capable some people are more capable we all have strengths we all have things that we need to kind of work on or we need support with right this person may have been looking at you as having limitations or lying about the limitations you have and this person is now realizing that you weren't lying there's something what were they thinking that you were lying about look empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed used or used enabled and boundaries why am i getting that this person is either a narcissist or they were trying to claim that you had narcissistic qualities maybe i don't know this person's energy is very complex it's not black and white enough to be like this person did you dirty in this way in this way in this way because this person is coming across as an empath and a narcissist then they're coming across as a narcissist and it's like they are confused they are conflicted they may be conflicted over their own ego or pride they're looking back especially with this song they are looking back at happy memories that they may have had with you or gentler memories they may have had with you because with the sun coming out as well maybe you are their child or they are your child maybe they felt there's something about like the inner child being able to run free but they're very worried right now that if they if they rock the boat too much you're going to cut them off or you are going to remove a cord or you're going to remove a connection very po like post haste yeah and you have here um the page of swords in reverse to the tower they're really worried that you're just going to cut them off completely and that they will never see you again in some way let me put down the five of cups here to the nine of cups in reverse okay tell me about the ace of pentacles please you want to go over there okay interesting all of it the sun happiness and well-being is coming out the sun has come out twice now they are realizing that you are there's something here about you being happier without them or you being more independent without them or you always were independent but they didn't give you um credit for being able to do things by yourself almost like the nine of pentacles again liar they feel like you were they thought you were manipulating the truth about something now you have bat and it says take care enemies are working against you and it's upside down so i this is what i mean by this energy is complicated or who they are is complicated because they have got a narcissistic tree, uh, streak within them and this is like a mother and child or father and child energy um and that could be that you're the father or you're the mother and this is your child or vice versa or this is somebody who you may have had to mother or father in a relationship you have got a secret admirer so for some people this is a secret admirer who has too much concern for sexual matters and for others this is a family member who look trouble and accusations may have accused you of manipulating something here manipulating your needs manipulating I don't know there's something about your character things you may have needed help with and i'm also getting this energy that you would have bent over backwards for them and maybe you already did and they're now realizing this light-heartedness and carefree time you may have been the one that brought a lot of like alleviated pressure from their life and their realizing you may have helped them out financially 
and it's not that they need finances now it's not that this person is money hungry it's that they're looking back at the little things that you actually did for them and with them and were doing to help them and how they took you for granted or they didn't respect you or your boundaries and that's irrespective of whether or not that's a family member a lover a friend a, a work colleague it makes no difference this person is feeling very lonely and out in the cold without your energy around them because i'm getting my touch there's something about you being like um a lucky rabbit's foot which i think is gross but yeah look unicorn use your intuition to make beneficial change they saw you as a unicorn you're magical they saw you as magical you had the sun coming out twice and they no longer have that in their life and it's it's depressing to them it's really depressing right why are we going to show this energy good news why have we been showing this energy please i'm going to keep this reading short someone new is entering your life oh they may be gutted because you're moving on they feel tied down and frustrated you know and they're gutted because you are just moving on right someone working against you or behind your back if at any point they did do something behind your back they are in deep regret over it because they are now only left with memories of days in the sun with you and nothing more Oof. and it says here a goal orientated person and trouble accusations sorry that one's got candle wax all over it astral sign it says love so you're finding love in other places you're finding love with people who actually are respecting you in the space that you can show up in and it doesn't mean that you're showing you're not showing up for yourself and expecting other people to do that for you it's about being equally yoked with you know taking care of our mental health taking care of our physical health our finances and so on and so forth please know my readings are for entertainment purposes only anything that comes up in the areas of law finance mental health or physical health i am not professional in those areas I don't claim to be. If anything does come up that really, really resonates with your story, please ensure that you are actually reaching out to those in those areas and gaining advice and guidance from them before taking any from me. And you've got here Nest. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you and it's upside down. Someone here may have chosen work over you and they're realising that... Um, they kind of messed up by doing so. Yeah, and it says sharp, take care, or there will be a loss of material wealth and a misunderstanding. They feel like they want to come in and say that they misunderstood you. They've misunderstood you big time. They misunderstood how lucky you were as well, or how lucky they were to have you in their life. And they don't have that anymore. A distant friend is thinking of you. So this person still thinks of you warmly. But they're really unhappy at the moment with flowers in reverse. They're really unhappy thinking that you are just... You've moved on. And not like you've moved on, you're happy without me. But more, you've just moved on with your life. And they've lost out on that sunshine. They've really lost out on that sunshine. Birth or concept or conception of a, a, a child or enterprise. So for those that this is like a romantic connection, they may have wanted to have a family with you, but at the time were so focused on work that they didn't look at you and your needs. And if this, this, if this is a family member, it could have been that this person was so focused on working that they didn't look at your work needs, your health needs or mental health needs. But they still think of you um, friendly. But I'm getting like just a lot of sadness from this person. Waiting for news package or letter. They may message you. Or they may be. You may have left them on read. And they're waiting for you to message them back. I'm going to leave this as a short reading. Okay. I hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity. On what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel. And you like what you heard. I'd love you to hit on the like. The subscribe and the notification bell. So you can see more of my content. And when I post. And if you are a returning subscriber, soul family, hearts, kisses, I love you guys.